Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, we will be solving another problem of backtracking. This problem, it might seem a little easy, but actually it might be tricky if you misread uh, or if you don't take some examples and try it out by yourself, then you may go wrong in getting the correct approach. So the problem, let us read it now. Pause the video and read it. And you can read it along with me also. Largest number in K swaps. Given number K and a string str of digits denoting a positive integer. Build the largest number possible by performing swap operations on digits of str at most k times. So at most k times we can swap. So for example, if the, our string is this, okay, this is our string, it contains digits and we are given k. So this is our string str and we are given k. So k represents at most that many number of swaps we can do. So if we orally try to solve it, I am able to observe here that we can get a string something like this, right? Yeah, we can get this string. Okay. Now just imagine what if this K was not given, if this K was not given, we could do unlimited number of swaps. Then we would just sort the string in descending order. Is it correct? Just tell me if I'm correct or wrong in the comments. If K was not given, then what would be the answer? Just tell me that. But now in this problem, K is given. So some of you may think that we can do this approach that we sort the entire string in ascending order. And then what we will do is, uh, we will swap the extremes. We'll keep swapping like this and we'll get our answer. So in this case also, what we'll do, we are given this string, which is actually already sorted. We'll sort it. And then if we swap the extremes like this, we'll swap one with seven, uh, two with six, and three with five. Okay, we'll swap like this. How many times we'll do? At most k times only we can do, right? So we'll run a loop while k minus minus. But will this method work always? Is it some sorting greedy kind of a problem? Uh, see, in this case it worked. But what if our string was this? Two, one, three, four. And k is equal to two. Then according to this algorithm that we just discussed one minute ago, we have to sort the string and we have to swap the extremes like this. So we should get what four, three, two, one, correct. But can we get four, three, two, one only using two swaps? Is it possible? See here, the string is two, one, three, four. If I were to get four, three, two, one, how many swaps I actually need? So I need to put four here. So I'll do this swap. Okay. So four came here. Now I need to put three here. So I'll put three here, but now I need two here. So I'll do one more swap. Actually I needed three swaps, but I can do at most two. So always that method won't work that we you know sort the string. So sorting always, it doesn't work here. Sort it and then swap the extremes that will not work. So I wanted to just make you aware of that because even I had gone wrong. So if somebody has gone wrong and trying to figure out why it's not working, this is the reason. This is one example you can take counter example. Okay. So now how do we solve this problem? Let us take a different string. Let us say, uh, we are given something here, I guess. Three, four, three, five, three, three, five, five, three, three, five. Suppose this is our string and we are given K is equal to three. What we'll do, we will start from index zero Okay, we'll start from this index and we'll check which is the maximum character on the right side of our current index. 
current index is at zero. We'll start from zero, index zero. Whatever character is there on the right side, um, sorry, whichever character is there on the right side, we have to find maximum character on the right side. So if we find max character, so what is the max character going to be in right side of our index? So from here, wherever I marked from here to here. So five is the max character. Okay. So our max character is not equal to our character at the index, which means we can have a swap because suppose the, the max character was same as our index. We wouldn't want to swap. Why should we waste a swap? Only if our max character is greater than our index, then only we'll swap, right? So we have found a max character, which is five. Now, one important thing over here is we should see which character to swap. What do I mean by that? See, there are multiple occurrences of five. Suppose I take the first occurrence. See, I'll explain here. Suppose I take the first occurrence of five and I swap it with this, the resulting string becomes, I guess this. But if I take the second occurrence of five, which is the extreme from the right side, it comes first. From the right side, it comes first. Okay. And if I do the swap now, now I think I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, here three should come. Yeah. Okay. So now tell me out of these two, which is maximum? Obviously this one. See, because five, same, four, four, same, three, three, same. But here there is three, here there is five. So this is larger. So what did we understand? We, we first find the max character on the right side of our chosen index. And then we have to start checking from the extreme right because it is better to swap a character which is at the extreme right so that if we have multiple occurrences of max character, we'll get a better answer. So we have to start checking from the extreme right. Okay. So now I'll come back here. We got max characters five. So I will start running the loop. Okay. From the right side, I get that this character is same as my max character. So I'll do a swap now. So I'll do a swap now. Okay. I did a swap. Now I'll recursively do the same thing on this string. So this is my new string and I will do the same uh, uh, operations that I did for this string but I have to decrease K because I have done one swap. So now when I'm doing the operations earlier, the index was at zero. Now, because I have got the best possible answer for index zero, I will go to index plus one. So now I'm here. Now index is one uh, to the right side. Okay. Because see now the position is filled. The zeroth position, I have got the best possible character. Now let us apply the same algorithm here. So this is index or so right side, which is the largest character five. Traverse from the right side, from the uh, end of the string here, wherever five occurs, take that character and do the swap. So my new str becomes what? Five, five, three, four, three, 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 I guess. But what is the answer? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So, okay. Now this is my character and my K minus minus. So K initially was three here. It became two. Now K is equal to one. Okay. Now index was index will be where now index was at one position one. Now it will be at position two. We have to move the index because see this part, na, this part we have finished. We have got the best possible answers for that uh, left side, whatever is there. We have got the best possible answer. Now index is here. Apply the same logic on the right side of the index. What is max character? My max character is going to be four here. Max character was five just for reference sake. And now check where is four, how to check, check from the right side. 
okay four there is only one occurrence of four take this force do the swap k minus minus k will become zero and our string becomes this when k becomes zero we can't do any other swap so we return we return okay we return we don't do anything else but when we return we need to return back to the same string which means that whatever swap we are done we have to swap it again to come back to the original form see we did a swap 3 4 got swapped if you observe this string and this string here 3 4 it was 4 3 but i need to get it when i say return back to the function call it has to go back to the uh, string wherever it was so here the back tracking step is what back tracking step will be swapping the characters again swapping again this is the back tracking fine so it's a pretty straight forward problem but you might get confused or you will misunderstand by thinking we can use sorting we can't use sorting here so that was the algorithm i'll show you the code now okay so see this is the function given to us we are given input string str and k we are taking a string called answer initially it is equated to str only notice that in the question it is not compulsory to do k swaps we have to do at most k swaps so we can do zero to k swaps any any number of such swaps we don't have to do all the k swaps at most is given and i'm taking n as length of the string because it will help me in traversing the string right and i am passing the parameters to the solve function what are the parameters string length k answer string and what is zero here it is the index index with which it should start checking checking for what checking for a swap checking for a better character i would say then finally return answer what is happening in the solve function so these are the arguments okay and you have to pass the answer string as reference because this answer string will keep updating as and when we get a better answer uh, you know a larger number okay so if k reaches 0 this is base case right if k is 0 then we can't do any more swaps we can't do anything so just return take a variable called max char and let it be equal to str index wherever you are starting now let it be equal to that only now what you do you start checking from the right side as we did see we started from the right side of the index to find a max uh, character not i mean uh, to find a character which is having a greater value or highest value whatever so we are trying to do that only here we then we are checking if max character is not the same as our character at current index why are we doing this because if max character and current index are the same then we don't have to swap we don't want to lose a swap option we can use this swap option somewhere else so don't do anything but if this condition is true that means max character is not the same as character at our index that means we are going to do a swap so for sure we are going to do a swap because we have found a greater character but the question is which character should i swap at which index because if we because i explained over here right i had taken the example to exa you can rewind the video you should take character which is at the rightmost end so that you have a chance of getting a larger number so that is what we are checking from the right side let us traverse the string and if we get max character then we swap we do a swap 
then we check if our answer can be updated that means have we got a larger number after doing the swap then we recursively do the same by passing the parameters here and notice index plus one is there because the current index we have got an answer we have got our answer current index it's over then afterwards we have to swap again so this will be the uh, you know backtracking this will be the backtracking step we have to reswap so we had swapped here if you want if you want to come back to original uh, string that was in this uh, function call we need to swap again that's all this problem is done and uh, yeah so this was the solution i hope you are able to understand and you are now able to code by yourself please do it by yourself then only it will be effective and i hope you like my explanation please hit the like button please share the video with all your friends just put it in the whatsapp group subscribe to the channel it will really motivate me until the next videos take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye